Phillips, former Wales under-20s captain, takes the ball as first receiver. The remaining two from that back row, Kasim and McLeod, do the rest. Now Lee really is a good forwards effort, this from the Scarlets. Underneath the shadow of the Connacht post, flat ball from Evan. Dan Jones just pushes that ball across in front of the player. They go short, excellent play indeed. Well, they didn't oh, seem hands. to be... A... that man? I see him backwards, says the referee. Well, there's no one out there. Have to go the long way round. And Steph Evans is outside McNichol. Good fan from the fullback, and again, flick over the top. Slightly speculative, but he knew there were players inside him. And it is Fitzgerald on the floor. Does the hard work in the first time. Excellent rucking from the Scarlet. This could well be turnover ball. That's excellent work from the Scarlet players. McNichol is in there, does well, drags it out, finds the big runners, arm out from the referee, playing penalty advantage for offside. Through the hands again, oh, dummy of a crossfield kick, and that is excellent play from the centres. First of all, from Steph Hughes, and then from Asker. Well, it's a missed touch. Jackson with a very awkward one indeed. It's into the arms of Tom James. Back now. Thompson's back covering the backfield. Asquith has got a man on his shoulder, and it's the prolific Kieran Hardy who goes in, and that could be a huge moment in this game. Going down the left just to push off his man, take the second man, the second Scarlet come around the corner. Still playing advantage to the Scarlets. It's chipped through by Hughes. Steph Hughes, oh, it's magnificently collected, but just short of the line. Hardy waits. Big opportunity. Yeah, this game there. has turned in the last five minutes in Scarlet's favour. It's on left if the Scarlet's can recognise it. No, short. They take it short. It's clearly on left. They need to communicate. They need to get that ball out. Hands off the ground, good. You can hear Johnny McNichol on the ref mic calling it. No, short. Hands out, let's go. Desperation time as Hardy now does fly out. It's taken by Asquith, and on his 50th scoreless appearance, Paul Asquith. The ball is there for Frisbee. His pass was intercepted. It's now Gibbons. Scarlet's good in the contact area, slowing the ball down, aren't they? Goes Two behind phases. Thompson, and here goes Steph Evans. It's a try. It's going to be a try. If he can collect this, he's going to score. And Glasgow again. Three, three, almost. Calls. Two. Still okay. defence coming in from Zebra early doors, a little pot pass over the top it's from Dan Jones, Jones, and suddenly it opens up for Steph Evans. Steph Evans inside to Kieran Hardy, and inside 90 seconds, the Scarlets are on the board. Them. They've got them in the. They've challenged them on the scrum. Now challenge them on the line out and just see what they've got. Davis finds his target. The drive comes on. I think it's Josh McLeod at the bottom of that lot. Let's see who gets up. Well, Pro 14 start. Hardy's had a few okay, more opportunities and made the most of him. Most of them as the forwards come through in support of the ball carrier. Kasim making some good headway. Little check through from Hughes. First up, it's going to be that man, Combia. Seven tries in eight appearances. Just holding that black line a little firmer inside opposition territory. Again, the... Kick pass to Combeer this time. Combeer goes past one. He's got support inside from Asquith. Asquith gets the offload. It's Hardy who gets try number two. Scarlets have the bonus point score. In... Davis finds Kasim. Good safe take from the former Cheetahs man. And Davis comes around to resume control as the Scarlets forwards rev the engine. And Taylor Davis celebrates his first Pro 14 start with his first try. What a moment. Take the shortest route to market. Still there. Samson Lee winds it up. No, you're off your feet. Well, numbers 1 to 15 and many others beside believing now that they can score from a Scarlet's standpoint. Hughes, nice little dab over the top, and Johnny McNichol 
Well, we're getting the full box of tricks from the Scarlets today. They're returning to South Africa. So, not quite Sit. sure what sort of cheaters team will be arriving here in three weeks' time. But they'll be up against the confident now. Scarlets team, no question about that. Oh, Johan Mayer had to reset his sat nav then, didn't he? Looked like he was heading for the town centre there. Oh, and the ball goes loose, and here's opportunity. Well, that Colin. is a gift for Josh Helps. I'm not well, sure whether he was looking for Dan. Stepping out, and Hardy will finish in the centres. O'Brien with the huge up and under. It's the two 15s. Oh. There's only going to be one 15 <laughs> that makes it, though. Guess who? Johnny McNichol bags a brace. The smile is back on the face of Scarlet's run. Trying to drive through again, no come hands. the Scarlet's. This is as close as they've been. Werner Kruger spoke well you in the lead-up to this game. He picks up, tries to go. Dan Davis in there as well. Mackenzie no trying to get his hands on the ball. Scarlet's protect. Need to breach that Edinburgh line. Good recycling of the ball. No hands. And Davis again was close. And the try is given. A very, very good kick and chase. Okay. Jones. They go to the front. Clemens takes it. A little flick this time. Steph Clemens comes in off the line. Does very well. Takes his momentum over the line. Well, if the cheaters were... Step back inside from Schumann, looking for support. Arrives in the shape of Visa, the number eight. Well, that was good work on the floor by Steph Hughes. Feet firmly planned, straddled the ball. But Nickel comes in, injects a little bit of pace. Well, he's surrounded by cheater defenders. But the fullback does exceptionally well, keeps composure. A little dart at the same side by Hardy. Poachers try. Scrum half, eyes and ears. Saw a little gap and didn't need asking twice. Great try from the Scarlet Scrum half. It's there for Scrum half Tito Tibaldi, formerly with the Ospreys in Swansea. Time in is good. Harlequins in London. Oh, it's a good good. Kick downfield and good chasing here from the Scarlets, but. Benetton will appear to have it well covered. It's gone oh, forward. It's still on the floor. The Scarlets right behind their own try line. And from one end of the try. Corner, I think that's a try. It could be. Could well be a try. Good chasing by the Scarlets. Ed Kennedy was then pubs the there. legs. Two meters short there. Back on the narrow side. And Benetton pressed Stay into defence here. Sebastian Negri at six. On the clouds has lost his uh, headgear. And they drive forward hard and low. Andrew places right on the spot. The puissance of Tournament is ultra serré in defence. With ouais, Bello. Oh. De Nicole. Mac Nicole for legalisation. In terms of the de Scarlet. Miles into. Andy Warwick, Lamb trying to offer the blind pass to Ryan Conbeer and then directly through the middle. Is this going to be the score, the points for the Scarlets? Jonathan Evans who goes, Ulster do enough to stop the Scarlets attack. Conbeer with the pass, Ulster trying to regroup. Conbeer, Scarlets trying to shift quickly. Trying to catch this Ulster defence out for the first time in this game. And have they managed to do it? That is the question. Jack Morgan, the teenager on the field. Sous la menace des Gallois. Avec euh, la prise de balle de fond d'alignement, c'est bien fait pour Luzi, c'est dynamique. Et quelle défense là. Ouais. Quelle défense de Tao. Alors là, vite, faut se mettre au ras. Attention, Evans. Evans dans l'embut essai. Et eh bien voilà, premier essai gallois. À la suite de. Gone forward from Manuel Ordas, outside half for Bayonne. Turned over by the Scarlets. O'Brien, Gareth Davis out in the centre. Drilled hard by Steph Hughes down towards the corner. And the chase is on. And it's now. Oh, that's brilliant. 
Lovely chased. Ryan Condier. Did he get Lewis in Jake Ball in the middle? Kasim just behind. Lewis Rawlins. It's Kasim who wins it. Jack Morgan first on the ball. They'll have to work it back to Ryan Elias. There it is. In the hands of the hooker. Good advantage being played. Kasim now takes over. But the Scarlet's all upright. Jake Ball, the sort of bulwark against which they can all push. They may not have to go much further than here. Ryan Elias. The score. Here come the Scarlets over halfway, and the handling game really is working for them now. Lewis Rawlings, the last there. That's another penalty advantage. Angus O'Brien clean through. Corey Baldwin outside him, and inside him, Kieran Hardy. Three out of the four tries the Scarlets need for their bonus points. Couldn't quite find it. Steph Evans on the full. The bounce works for the Scarlets, though. Rob Evans, a first touch. Angus O'Brien clean through. O'Brien for the bonus point. He's, he's got nobody outside him because the space would normally be filled by himself. Oh, Asquith, that's a lovely pass. Corey Baldwin comes away, one pass it to it. Kieran Hardy is going to be in for his second try. The Scarlets fifth. From the front row, Scarlet's coming up very fast in defence still, and it's going to be a try for Lee Halfpenny. Good finish by Halfpenny. For try. <laughs> Eventually, it was either side of the scrum, up, difficult to defend here. Use it. No, scrum fine. goes to ground. Gareth Davis darts back inside, and that is the opening try of the match. So Ken Owens looking to make sure of his throw in this time, taken by Kasim at the back, and no sooner had his uh, toes touched the ground that the Scarlet's forwards crowded in around him. Ken Owens and Scarlet's get the drive on here. 10, 15 meters out. Still they go on and on and on towards that Dragon's try line. Can they get there? Yes, they can. It's a second try for the Scarlet. Came from the set piece. Brian has a quick look, brings in Sam Luisi, hands off to Jake Ball, good work by the lock forward. Little and tidy out the back from Lee Halfpenny. Convier alert to the opportunity. Samson Lee down on the Ospreys 22. Lovely work by Angus O'Brien, Shingler back inside, Steph Evans, what a well worked try that was. Slight of hand from Angus O'Brien, back in silence. <laughs> Osprey's offside, advantage Scarlet. Angus O'Brien, a kick meant for Combier. Combier in and out and over. The Osprey's looked, appeared to have turned it over, but somehow Tevita Ratuba got his uh, fingers to it. Combia this time, second try for the Wainsley quarter. Taking an advantage, full advantage. Here he is, running 21. Nice touch. Will the bounce be kind for Steph Evans? It's a simple run in for the Wainsley quarter. Morgan Morris. He's had a, a quiet night by his own standards. And that's the pressure that the Scarlets have applied. Hungus O'Brien weaving his way up towards halfway. Condia, Condia looking for a hat trick. He might get it, you know. 20 meters short. It's there on a plate for Ryan Elias, the replacement for Ken Owens. Can the Scarlets get try number five here? Hardy out from O'Brien into the hands there. Or Paul Asquith, I think it might have been. Hardy, round the corner. Tries for an Alan Hardy here. Oh, no. Standing wide is Aaron Schindler. Around the back it goes, well taken by McLeod! Five man. Paolo. 
quickly down to uh, oh lovely work by Gareth Davis here round the corner he goes typical of Gareth Davis can he get all the way of course he can the second try challenge the cut well the only survivor from that fixture Ken Owens first penalty has gone the way of the Scarlets and look at that on a sixpence to McNichol McNichol steps inside Iqbafan brings him down but what a wonderful start from the men in red Gareth Davis is through just a minute on the clock the Scarlets oh, six hold the ball still alive for Dan Jones got Steph Evans Steve alongside Evans that was rather good finding Asquith a little poke through for Steph Evans Evans scores the try Turns, wriggles, it's available. It just didn't quite work for Tavita Ratuva because it was slower, but a chance now. Jam just oh, has he reached out for it? On review, this might be Josh McLeod with a red scrum cap. Uze Kasim at number eight. Scarlets on the march. It is another penalty. Advantage quickly taken, Kieran Hardy. Try awarded the third of the four. The Scarlets. Ryan Elias strikes. Uzer Kassim controls. The whole unit goes forward, forward, forward. Scores. Uzer Kassim. It's a penalty try. So it won't be. Kieran Hardy feeds the scrimmage. Dan Jones comes to the left. Another little kick through. This time, Steph Evans does get the ball down. I think we'll have a look, but it looked good. Stefan Ungaro with the clearance. Angus O'Brien can start the counter with help from O'Brien. And also from Corey Baldwin and now Josh McLeod. Excellent offload. And it's going to be an opening try. Tavita Ratuva, excellent play from the moment. Bill Price, McLeod, very comfortable with ball in hand now. There's a chance through Dan Jones to attack. It's the run in for Ed Kennedy for the Scarlets. When they take their time, finding Steph Evans coming off his wing. One pass should do it. Combia had to stop. Southern Kings four across, but Combia has the strength to evade all tacklers and the Scarlets do bring their second half to life side Phil Price one hand on the ball two hands on the ball Kasim oh big drive by the number eight we boosted by the others and the try has been awarded Uzer Kasim the scorer it's a bonus point score <laughs> it's a right old scramble. Strip is good. Strip Ratuva, back. one of those big one-handed passes, and on the end of the move, Dan Davis, the replacement. For the moment, Uzer Kasim to Josh McLeod. In comes Angus O'Brien from fullback. It's going to be another try-scoring pass. Tom Rogers. Try number six for the Scarlets. Almost there. Scarlet's trying to do to Munster what was done to them. Can they get there? Sebastian's over, is he? Referee has taken a look. Okay. That breakdown. And then Steph Evans. Lee Halfpenny inside him. Johnny McNichol in the middle of the field. Coming back. Play on. Where the ball came from. Back to Steph Evans. Oh, the dancing feet of Steph Evans and the support of Johnny Williams. Got held! Backwards. Lee Halfpenny back. floats it. It's Ed Kennedy on the wide outside. He cuts in field this time. No stopping him on his sign out. 
goes wrong. Thomas Williams can set Ollie Robinson off. Jared Evans outside. Oh, the kick by Harry Millard has given Steph Evans an opportunity. It's all about footwork and pace, and Steph Evans has both. Second to win Jones. It's good effort, good on your feet. Then hits the blind side hard. Steph Evans for himself to chase. This has worked before. Hardy's there as well. Now then, who won the race? <laughs> Four people claimed it. I didn't see anybody ground that. Offside. Penalised. No, you're, you're on your knees on the side of the ruck. Behind the Heimel's feet, please. Eight. Quickly taken. Sam Lewisy reaches out. That long arm. Some more. They've Keep switched it up. the target and it allows a little bit more momentum up the lost. line out. Yeah, play on. Ball was lost. Lewis Rawlings did some good work there. Oops, Steph Evans. For once, a kick doesn't really work, but it's come back the Scarlet's way. And out of nothing, suddenly through Johnny Williams, something is very much on. The inside pass to Angus O'Brien. Support on either side. Steph Hughes is one of them. Johnny McNichol is another. McNichol for the line. What a Great try, try for the Scarlet's. From the Scarlet's. Kennedy the target. Showing to the front, setting up the drive. Right, stay where you are, eight. Dragons under pressure in the scrum. Eight, back under the pressure right in this driving line out. Scarlet's pouring right, through, eight. arm out again. Release seven off your feet. That's Ken Owens bundling towards stay, the try stay. line. Still maintaining possession. Calamaphoni at the base of this ruck. 18 and a half minutes gone, still looking for the first try Lose of this Welsh right. derby. Samson Lee digs it and pops and stretches and there we have it one for the front they're trying to that stop once Kieran Hardy digging for the ball but on she goes who's got the still ball is that Ken still Owens at the back ball. still the going off there and the penalty come in. a black side entry penalty advantage Wainwright penalized for the side entry still got advantage right Kieran Hardy oh short ball and here comes a try for Steph Evans. Just a little. If the Scarlets want another try, got to win the lineup, which Jake Ball has done. Early shove comes on. That's on the deck. Yep. Where is the ball? It's down. Good reaction from Sam Davis. He realised it. Spoke to the referee and then went for it. Intelligent footballer is Sam Davis. Change of approach from the Scarlets. Oh, lovely. Paul Asquith Bynes is on instead of uh, Johnny Williams. Bynes. Bench has been Sticky emptied by the Scarlets. And as we thought, uncontested scrum. Blacker. Short line. Great little off road. A dink over the top. If it sits up nicely, it is a try for Tom Rogers. Uncontested scrums. Two on one, perhaps here. Rogers back inside to Blacker. It's opening up at Rodney Parade, another try for the Scarlets.